freak. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing a story with you guys that kind of because i have questions of people asking me why i felt the way i felt about my last video about like going out to places by myself and stuff like that so pretty much i'm coming on here and i'm gonna let you guys know or not let you guys know but tell you guys a story about what's happened to me and it's kind of like a story time of like why i'm so like um how do i say this like why I'm so cautious about going out to places by myself. First, bitch, hold up. Alright, so this happened to me like I think uh 20 we're in 29, 2018. This happened in 2018. Um let me just let me just get into it. I'm not even gonna think about how I'm gonna tell this story. So I was going uh to um Man, I didn't want to tell this story because it, it, I don't want to like say names and I don't want to, you know, stuff like that or whatever. So, okay, so I was going to a friend's house and um, you guys are from Modesto, you're going down uh, service road. I was going like from like Crow's Landing, you turn left on service and um, I noticed this white truck. It was like a, like, a little white truck. Hold on. It was like a little white truck. Um, like a work truck, you know the ones that are just three seats and then it's like a small Nissan I think or I don't even know what what they are But um, yeah, so I noticed it was following me and it was it was like uh, it was winter time So it was eight o'clock already. So it was it was already um, dark and I noticed it was following me and I was like hold up like how long has this truck been following me? You know, I just kind of thought about it and I was like, okay, whatever I did I was like, whatever. I'm not gonna you know um, so I pulled into the Chevron that's on that's passing the church on Mitchell um, the, It was the Chevron and Ampium. So I pulled up to the Chevron to pump gas and The truck pulls in so I was like, okay, you know, maybe we we're just both going to the same place, whatever So I pull in I park on the pump and then he parks on the pump on the other side So say I'm at five. He's at six type thing and I'm like, okay, you know, that's a little weird so I got off the car and now I go, I walk over there to pump gas and I'm coming back and I noticed he never got off the car. Like he never got off his truck. And I was like, okay, you know, that's a little weird. And so I pumped gas and I could just feel him. Like I could just feel him over my shoulder, even though he was in his truck. Like you guys know, like when you feel something, you feel it. Like when it's in your gut, like you just, you just know, you know, you just feel it. So I was like, okay, that's like a little weird. So I called my friend and I was like, hey, you know, this uh, this car's following me. And my friend's like, oh, you're tripping. Like, it's, it's nothing. And I was like, no, like, they're following me. Like, I know they're following me. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys two story times in this one. Okay, so every time something like this happens to me and I tell someone they don't believe me at the moment. They're like, oh, no, you're tripping. Like, and I'm like, no, like, I'm not a person to be, like, dramatic like this. Or I'm not a person to, like... You know just like make shit up for like attention i was like no like this like i'm serious about this whatever so um i'm pumping gas and this guy never gets off like he never got off the truck or anything and okay so i'm done pumping gas whatever i'm like trying my hardest not to look that way because i i don't want like no interaction and that comes falls back on like why i don't interact with people when i'm out in public by myself so then um, I get in my car, I turn my car on, and this guy freaking turns his truck on. Like, he literally turned the truck off, waited for me. Then he turned the truck on as soon as I turned it on. And I was like, oh, like, like, this is not, like, he's following me. Like, he's following me. So whatever, I get in the car and I call my friend again. And I'm like, hey, like, I'm serious. Like, this guy is following me. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want to, like, take him to your house. Like, what do I do? So then, um... My friend said, okay, so don't come to the house, just like pass the house, just keep driving, like keep going through the cuts. And keep in mind, it's like dark and I'm passing. So if you go all the way down service, you get towards like Keys and, you know, East Gates to your left. And I'm already like in the cuts and there's like barely any cars where I'm at. And I'm like, how is this guy following me? Like, he's really, he really thinks like, it just made me think like, he's really going to try and follow me he really thinks like i'm gonna like stop like in the middle of nowhere or like what does this guy think like what is what's going through his head and at that and like you know like we're in 2020 like people are crazy like you really never know 
you really never know anybody's intention like maybe his intention wasn't even bad or i don't know what it was but it just it was you don't do that you just don't follow somebody like a complete stranger i've never seen this guy in my life he was like a mexican like work guy like he just looked like a normal guy like it's just normal like he had just gotten out of work and then so we're already in the cuts and he's still following me and i'm like oh my god what do i do so my friend's like hey like i'm gonna meet you like you know pull over at this place and it's kind of like i i didn't really know how to explain like exactly where i was at because i'm not from that side of town so i was like okay well i'm gonna turn left on this street and that street takes you to east gate so um i turn left to east gate towards east gate and my my friend's like well pull over like pull over like i'm right here like i think i see the truck and i'm like okay thank god you know so i pulled over and the guy pulls over too but the guy doesn't know that i have somebody coming you know so i pulled over and the guy pulls over like right behind me in the middle of nowhere in the fields and i was like so my friend pulls up hella hot and he and my friend gets off the car and like while my friend's going towards uh towards the guy's truck like the guy hella skirts off skirts off and he's like so close to hitting my car and i'm just like what the just happened you know and it was just like ever since then it's like i'm very cautious on like who's behind me while i'm driving like i'm always like oh is that guy following me like is that person following me because that was just a scary experience for me like i don't know what that guy wanted like i don't know his intentions sis anyways yeah like i didn't know that guy's intentions like i didn't know i don't know and you know and that's what i'm saying like it just sucks that like us girls like we can't go out on our own without feeling uncomfortable without having to look like you know like over our shoulders like every time i get in my car like i look around like hold up like is anybody in here because sometimes i do get a feeling like is somebody watching me you know it's like it's just happened way too many times like not not where like i'm following i'm getting followed but it's happened to where like i'm i just peep stuff that it's like whoa like, that guy's looking at me weird or that guy's you know and it's like it just makes you wonder like so much stuff can happen so much stuff can happen and you'll never like know the truth you know like okay so what if my friend wasn't with me that day you know and it, it, i always think of it like what if he wasn't with or what if he didn't come that day and i would have just pulled over and what like the guy would have i would have had to pull over at some point you know i wasn't gonna drive that guy to my house so um yeah so i remember i had told uh who did i tell well, i told my manager about it at the time i told her about it and so they were like well like hey you know like if anything just like let us know give us a call and it's like you really got to be there for the people that go through stuff like this because you never know like it's and i mean like yeah like i could have called the cops but he could have easily been like oh i'm not following her you know i would have looked stupid or stuff like that but i mean i guess yeah like that would have been an option like to call the cops i definitely would have been an option so i called my mom and i was like it was i was like frantic i was like dude what did that guy want so i called my mom and she's like well since when was he following you and i was like i don't know like you know because i was like careless like i didn't think anything like that would ever happen to me so ever since then i'm just like i always look over my shoulder i'm always like oh why is that person staring at me so much or like what do they want to the second story time i got in a fight at walmart once but it was for that same reason not not for that same reason because i was being followed but it was because this girl if she ever sees this video a girl i did not want to fight you i was not laughing at you or maybe should this be a second story time yeah never mind you guys i'm gonna leave this one for a second story so let me know if you guys want the second story time about when i got in a fight at walmart at two in the morning inside the store okay let me know and i'll record that for you guys as well that one's kind of like it's kind of funny but at the same time it's kind of like ironic because then i seen that girl again another day and i was like hold up that's the girl i fought but all right just i'm not gonna say anymore just let me know if you guys want that second story time and then i will get it for you guys um but yeah um i just kind of wanted to make this video as well to just kind of bring awareness to this we're like in the world we're living in like i want you guys to know that how do i say this Sorry. this stuff is real and it really does happen 
and you guys need to be careful out there because you don't know what weirdos you're gonna run into and people are into some weird shit okay like if i've learned anything it's you need to be aware of what you, like your surroundings like y'all need to be on toes about because i'm telling you i watch way too much forensic or like way too much documentaries to not to you know it's just weird it's weird don't trust girls do not trust anybody like you can be at a freaking party like don't trust anybody for anything because you never know somebody's intentions unless you've known this person or like you know them at a different level than other people know them okay i understand it but i have also heard the saying that like you never finish meeting somebody you know so i just want you guys to be aware or like you girls if you get girls guys it applies both ways like y'all need to be aware of your surroundings because this shit is real and people are really out there to not everybody wants good for you all right well thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video right here um it's always nice um filming myself i finally got my camera back so i will be posting a lot more and i'm excited for that as well i just don't know what kind of content like what my niche i think they call it what my niche is gonna be because i like everything like i like story times i like vlogs i like makeup i like i've heard i kind of want to do a reaction video which is cool too um i like all that type of stuff so i'm still kind of thinking on that but i definitely will be uploading a lot more so stay tuned for that thank you guys